if I have this, I have x plus y. We haven't done 6, so we'll do 6. x plus y to the 6. I know it starts out with x to the 6 plus now. Start out, we know that, I don't want to cheat the problem, we say that 6, c, 0, our first term is going to give us, and let's write this underneath, because I know it's going to be long, so I'm going to write it right here, I'm going to say 6, c, 0, and we haven't done the 0, but remember, if you work this out, 6, if we work this out, 6, c, 0 is equal to 1, the same thing as that c, n to the 0 equals 1. Okay, same idea with the factorial. So just remember that's going to give us 1. We didn't talk about that. But no, that's an important fact that 6c0 is 1, the same as nc0 is b1. <coughs> so this becomes x to the 6 plus 6c1 x5y1. Remember that these always have to add up to 6. Those exponents always have to add up to 6. Then we say that 6c2 x 4 y 2 plus, and I'm going to write this on the next line, we have that 6 c 3 x 3 y 3 plus, you see this is not easy, I'm also writing big, plus now we do 6 c 4 and that's going to give us x 2 y 4 plus 6 c5, that gives us x and y5. Finally, 6c6, our last term, and that's going to give us x to the 0, y to the 6. x to the 0 is 1. All right, so let's take a look, and we want to find the coefficients now. And remember what we said, that 6c0 is equal to 1. So let's find out what 6c1, no, remember that's equal to 6. That's also the same thing as going to be 6c5, which is also equal to 1. So we just got to figure out 6c2. 6c2, if we work that out, is going to give us 15, which is the same thing as 6, which is the same thing as 6c4, which is 15, leaving us with 6c3. And that gives us... 6c3, and 6c3, the only one we left to work out, so we'll say that 6c3 is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. Bye-bye. 6 cancels, so we're just left with 20. So 6c3 is 20. And the last one we did was 6c6, which is also 1. So there's our coefficients, okay? Those are our list of coefficients right here. And you see how we match them up. The 0 goes with the 6, 1 goes with the 5, and the 2 goes with the 4, So there's, and there's our coefficients. So let's write this out for ourselves, and we know that this is 1, so we get x to the 6th plus... 6c1 is 6, so we get 6x5y1. 6c2 is 15, so we say that's plus 15x4y2 plus 6c3 is 20, so we say that's 20x3y3. 6c4 we know is 15 again, so we get 15x2y4. And we'll just keep, I'll write it right down here. Remember, this is all one big line. 6c5 is 6. We know is 6xy5 plus 6c6, which is 1. x to the 0 is 1, so plus y to the 6th. So there is our expansion. That's for the 6. So we see we didn't have to multiply it out 6 times, but there is our expansion, and we're going to get the formula up there in a second. So there is our for the sixth, and there's our coefficients. So remember, we use the c's to find the coefficients of the binomial th expansion, and remember how the exponents work, and let's write down a rule for us, a little general rule, and that'll be our binomial theorem.